Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulce Nascrap. I am back today with another page inspiration, part of my playlist, Junk Journal Page Inspiration. So today it's a short and sweet one, easy peasy. We're just gonna use paper ruffle or fabric ruffle with buttons because we tend to forget the buttons and they make a super simple page decoration that I just always love. So it's a simple thing to do and uh, so easy. So I gathered a couple of buttons. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. You can add two or three layers. You could use a cheesecloth, lace. They don't need to be the same dimension. As I love the shabby chic style, I'm cutting a little bit the edge of my lace just to make it more shabby. Um, and you're gonna see I, I didn't use the same length of the fabric and the lace just to see to make a little difference. I'm adding as well one of those labels that's part of my shabby Victorian kit. I'm gonna put the link in the description below and I'm just gluing half of it. I added half pearls and um, but this this is a, a label that you can put half pearls to decorate or put some brads to attach it. And I just thought it was floating on the page. So I changed my mind and I'm adding some cheesecloth, the one that is that you find at the dollar store. And I'm just gonna glue it down. So this is just a little page decoration because it happened that it was on my table, I saw it and I just decided to add it to the page. So let's go back to the ruffle. So adding the lace first, you can create some folds if you love the shabby chic. Adding more glue or you could stitch them at the sewing machine before and then glue them to the page. Or you can stitch them directly to the page with your sewing machine. I just took the easiest way right now and I've used the odd glue and I just created the folds and that's it. Now I'm going to place my buttons. So from the selection that I have, I won't use them all, but at least I have a couple of, of, of options to kind of switch them. And even that was not enough to my taste. So I'm going to just play, just go at least with a number that is like three or five or seven. Don't go with a pair number. Is it that in English? Anyway, those that you can divide by two. <laughs> All right. So in this case, because my ruffle is pretty long, I thought five would be better than three. But that's it. That's all. And it goes really fast because I already have a little um, tread in my button already there. But otherwise, you could add the sewing of the tread on the button just before. So I hope it inspires some of you. And we need to keep this idea in mind. It's a fast and easy way to decorate our pages. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.